Good morning guys, today is move-in day. I'm gonna pull my hair back really fast just to kind of get my hair out of my face and I'm gonna get ready. It's pretty early in the morning, it's like 7 or 8 a.m. Um, and I'm waiting for my grandma to get here because she has the truck that we're gonna be using today to move up my bed frame and my mattress and all that fun stuff. So it's going to be quite the trip back to Columbus. Um, I'm also driving separate because I have like stuff packed in my car, but I also um, need my car while I'm up there. So, and I'm not going back home today, obviously, because I'm moving in for the school year. Um, it's like pretty early, honestly, like a lot of my housemates aren't even gonna be there. Some of them are moving in today, but they're not like staying. And honestly, like a few of them, I think live like pretty close to campus. So like they can go back and forth often. I can't, I'm like two hours away. So I just thought I'd move back in and kind of get like my routine back because school starts in like two weeks anyway. So. Yeah, I'm really excited to get my routine and like just be back in Columbus. Yeah, I'm just throwing on some sunscreen and face lotion this morning and then I'm gonna put just a little bit of concealer on, curl my lashes and a little bit of blush and we'll be ready to go. This isn't just gonna be a move-in vlog, this is going to be another weekly vlog so I'm really excited about that. Um, I have an exciting week up ahead that I'm really excited to bring you guys along with. So. My number one tip that I have found actually this year that I know is going to be effective is using like just a random duffel bag, okay, or backpack, however big you need, and just pack like your everyday essentials in it, right? So when you're packing, you know how things just like get lost, you can't find it for like a week. I'm not doing that this year, okay? I have this duffel bag that has like my makeup bag in it my iPhone charger because this thing would get lost so easily. So anyway, we're just jumping right into this vlog. So yeah, I have like a couple outfits in here just so that I don't have to like dig and stress myself out to get things put away ASAP. So that's my tip for now. But here is like a little update on my room. You guys have really never seen my room, I don't feel like, but I had to put my queen bed in here it's usually a twin, but I'm taking my twin to Columbus, so I had to put my queen bed in here. It's literally the size of my room, um, so I just added those, and then my closet thing. I have another cube thing here, and then my desk sits here. So, anyway, I'm going to continue to pack everything up because I'm almost done, and my grandma and aunt are here. I didn't know she was coming, so that's exciting. Um, so, yeah, I just need to... My, parent, my mom just like yells across the house to have a conversation. Love it. So anyway, let's just, I need to get my life together in the next like 25 minutes. Okay. Without a bunch of stuff in it. So, okay, so here's the door. Um, and I'm gonna put my bed over here, and then I think my desk is gonna go either here or here. And then that big mirror is actually gonna go right here, and then obviously my closet. I'll show you what it looks like with the mirror. This is like a much better. Sorry, the lighting's like going in and out pretty bad. And there's hammering going on. It's okay. Um, anyway, I'm gonna put my mirror right here. I think it kind of like makes my room feel a little bit bigger. And then I have like these nice 
big window here and here. So it's actually pretty like light in here, which is really nice. Um, but yeah, I'm really hot, but I'm gonna keep cleaning. I just mopped my floor like you guys saw, and then I'm gonna go ahead and wipe down all my windows. I'm gonna unwrap this, wipe this down. I already wiped down like the knobs and all that with my Clorox wipes. So yeah, also side note, I literally forgot my bed slats. So my mattress and the other thing that goes below it, I can't think of the name of it, but it's just gonna have to sit on the floor until my mom comes up on Sunday. So yeah, I'll keep you updated. <laughs> It's been a slow morning, let me tell ya. Um, it is the next day. So I moved a lot of my stuff in yesterday. Only really like deep cleaned the room and got my clothes hung up, made my bed, um, but I forgot my bed slats. So my mattress and my uh, box spring was literally on my floor. So that's dunk, but I'm at Marshalls and Target about to get a couple things that I need and Starbucks is having half off their ice drinks after 12 and guys it's 11 16 so in about 45 minutes I will be getting my half off drink so yeah that's just my little update for now I'm just so exhausted from moving in yesterday and like having the first night sleep in the house was just you know it's always a big deal, so let's go into Marshall and Target. Okay, I am back from running a couple errands. I went to Target and Marshall's, and honestly, I could give you guys a little haul while my iron is heating up because I'm about to curl my hair. First thing, I got a new pillow. Um, I obviously haven't slept on it yet, but it's like a medium you know like intensity it's really it's like pretty firm but what i love is that it's like a memory foam pillow if i'm not wrong yeah and blend of memory and conventional foam okay anyway. okay don't mind my hair um Okay, so I got these like soothing cough drops, but they're not exactly cough drops. They're whatever this is called. My mom told me to get them, so I got that. Command strips. Mighty patches, because I always break out the week after my period, like super bad. I got these Gatorade Zero electrolyte packets to put in my water, because when I do drink a lot of water, I'm not really like balancing it with my electrolytes, so I got these to try. I got this cute little picture frame. I'm gonna take this like white thing out and just put like a big picture in here. But um, I got this from Target. I already know what picture I'm gonna put in here and it's been going around TikTok. It might sound really cheesy, but it's the picture of Jesus like in the background running after the sheep. Um, and it just like references Jesus leaving the 99 to find the one lost sheep to bring them back home. And so it just like, makes me want to cry every time I see it because it's like I was that lost sheep at one point and so yeah anyway um next thing I got are these blackout curtains I know that they're white but they're this brand and they say that they are blackout so I'm gonna test them out I have some curtains in here already but they're like really sheer I think they're just for decoration I also don't know about this the length I got 84 inches but these windows are like really tall and pretty wide so I got um, two packs because there's two big windows in here so that's what I got from Target I also got like a couple bowls and plates and like a few silverware just to kind of get me started for the week in the new house so yeah that's basically all yeah um, then I went to Starbucks and got my usual order but I got a large this time because they're having 50% off ice drinks today. 
but I just got a vanilla sweet cream cold brew with cold foam on top. So I know a great view, right? <laughs> but I hope it stops. I hope it stops because I'm really excited for my photo shoot tonight. But while I... But anyway, whenever I get ready for anything, I'll either listen to like worship music or I'll watch a YouTube video. And today I'm watching Milena Ciciati. I've been watching her quite literally since before she had like her first baby, Alethea. And she's a few years old now. I think she might be like four or five now. Anyway, I've been watching her for a really long time. I love her. Um, so I'm just catching up on some YouTube videos while I get ready and like grow my hair because it takes me a while. And I like to let it sit. And I put a lot of hairspray in it because I'm going to brush it out a little bit. But yeah, this is, I have like this whole section of hair to do still. And then the other side, but okay. went and washed my face but now I put some eye patches on my eyes and I'm doing a little bit of skincare um, spot treatment and then the stuff from the ordinary I've been using this and I think it genuinely has changed my skin so so much um, I'm almost out so I purchased another bottle but I accidentally grabbed the hyaluronic acid and this is the alpha arbitin or something so I need to go exchange that and then when I'm done with these eye patches I'm gonna like dab all that in and then I'm also gonna use this Clarence eye cream it looks like this and I just use the CeraVe face lotion still so I'm gonna put a little bit of this on while this sits on my eyeball but um the rain has cleared up it was just a little rain shower for like maybe 20 minutes but it's all good now but i think it's supposed to rain like later tonight but after the photo shoot so i'm really not that worried um my desk came in the mail today but i think i might need like a screwdriver or something to put it together and I forgot all of that at the house, so I might not be able to put my desk together yet, which makes me so sad because my room is like becoming a hot mess. This, there's just stuff literally everywhere, which is like to be expected. I am moving, but I just don't like having places for everything to go. But we're rolling with the punches, it'll be fine. Obviously when the 
parts are on it. It's obviously gonna be off the floor, but I'm thinking about putting it on this wall here. Um, I really like the deep walnut color. It honestly matches my bed like pretty well. And then obviously the black mirror. When I was doing my makeup, I couldn't see like over here, there was too much of a shadow. But um, yeah, that is the sitch. At the moment, she is a hot mess in here, but this is real life. So I have like my outfit pretty much picked out over here and then this dress is the main show for the night, but yeah. Okay, good morning guys. Um, well, it's actually afternoon now. I just got back from Stoff's. I went and met up with um, one of my leaders from church up here in Columbus. So that was really good and just nice to see her again. I haven't seen her since April, May, probably. So it's been a, been a couple months, but I feel a little bit better today. Not as sick. Um, I've been taking my vitamins, drinking my water, doing all the things. I got a lot of sleep last night, which was really, really needed and really, really nice. Um, but right now I'm headed to Easton to do some returns, take back some clothes I ordered from Aerie, I have to run to Target, and the most important thing, I have to run to the grocery store because I have absolutely no food here at the house and I'm low-key starving. I think literally the only food I have in the house is a leftover Chick-fil-A sandwich and applesauce. So, we're gonna go and do all of that today, so I'm gonna head to Easton real quick. Okay, um, I'm back in the car. I got some lunch, returned my stuff to American Eagle. Usually when I return stuff, so I have an American Eagle credit card, but it's not under me, it's under my grandma. And, um, so anyway, whenever I order things off of the with the card, um, I don't have the physical card with me, so they can never just like give me like the credit back on the card. So they usually will just like give me um, they'll give me a gift card instead. But this time when I went in there, I had like two things from a recent order, and then I had a dress from like 11 months ago, but it still had the tags on it, and I had the order number and everything, and she was like oh yeah we should totally be able to do that I was like okay um, and she was like okay we're gonna give you back this amount and they put it back on my card like my card they didn't give me a gift card I was like usually this is on a, on a gift card she was like well do you have like another card that we can like put it back on I was like uh yeah <laughs> so um, that will be grocery money for sure but I did stop at brandy and honestly i never really find anything in there unless i'm looking for like obviously a basic long sleeve but i have a lot of basic colors but i will show you i did buy one thing and it's like this little crew neck like waffle knit and it just says columbus um i think it's super cute and it's long sleeve so it's kind of perfect for like fall that's coming up and i just thought it was cute so i bought that for myself and now I'm actually headed to Abercrombie to find some nicer uh, plain tops, like short sleeve, like perfect length. Um, my friend Kayla has a couple and I really, really love them and they're really great quality and they're not even like crazy expensive. So I'm going to go look and see if they have any in there. I know they have them online, but I would rather just try it on to make sure I like it before I buy it because... Yes, I can always return things, but sometimes it's like a hassle, especially when I'm back at school. I hate making the trip all the way to Easton just to return like two things. So anyway, I'm gonna run to Abercrombie really quick. Oh my gosh, so awkward. There was a guy in the car and he watched me, but that's okay. home now I'm severely breaking out but that's okay um, I got a bunch of stuff for 
the bathroom and I'm gonna start setting it up in here really quick. So I'm gonna do like a little time lapse, I think. today I got these blackout ones instead um, I think they're the same brand honestly I don't even know the packaging yet but these like feel thicker and they're also like not white they're like a grayish black and so I think that these might work better this is the first one I bought um, like yesterday and it's actually just like a white color and it really doesn't block that much light, if I'm gonna be honest. Um, when I turn the lights out at night, there's street lights out here. The street lights just like come in very prominently and it's enough to bother me and I can usually sleep through anything, but I just really want my room to be like dark when I go to bed, you know? So, I don't know how I'm gonna get this rod down because I'm not that tall. Look at it. That's so tall. I'm not that tall. <laughs> anyway. I'm gonna get my room back in order to the best of my abilities tonight. Um, I'm gonna go take a shower, put some pimple patches on these pimples. Do you see these like forming? They're so painful. I don't know why, but I always break out so bad the week after my period. If anybody knows anything about that, please let me know because I feel like it's more common to break out the week before or the week of. And I've recently just started noticing that I break out the week after. Um, so that's not very fun, but I did pick up, like I showed you yesterday, I think, I picked up a big pack of Mighty Patches, so those will come in clutch, I am sure, for tonight, so I'll update you when I get out of the shower. I just need to get out of these clothes and get into comfy, comfy pajamas. sitting in the floor last night in the living room because all moving our stuff in there's like random bags everywhere and it, these bags just like blended in and I didn't even know not everything's ruined we have some rice some mac and cheese that that's all still good but like like frozen meals not to mention my breakfast sandwiches I was going to eat this morning 
One thing I've done this week is getting ready with you guys while I'm sitting on my floor because my desk is set up but I don't have a chair so I can't use it. I I'm trying to find my primer. Okay, I just got done curling my hair and I'm letting it cool before I like brush it out, but I thought for some reason that the wedding I'm going to, I thought that it was like kind of in Columbus. Like I thought max like 40 minutes. Like I genuinely thought it was like 35 minutes away. Um, and I just looked it up like an hour ago and read that the direction said it's over an hour. It's over an hour away, which is like not a big deal. Obviously I'm gonna drive it, duh. But just in my head, like I thought it was a lot closer. So I was like, shoot, I need to just go ahead and get ready now. And if you obviously saw my last clip, my um, all my food went to waste. So I have to like hurry up because I'm starving and I just need to get food out because I don't have anything here because it all went bad last night. One second, my friend's calling. Hello. Hello. Sorry guys, my friend called me and I haven't talked to her for a few days, um, so I wanted to catch up with her, um, but I have to, um, I'm going to go grab some lunch really quick. I need to call my mom and explain to her what happened because half of my groceries just fizzled away, you know? Um, but I had a friend reach out to me and ask me if I was also driving to the wedding today from Columbus and I am she was um, in my small group last year I was like her leader so I'm gonna drive her so I'm gonna meet she's gonna meet me at the house and like wait what time am I leaving 4 30 oh she won't be here for like another hour and a half swag I thought it was an hour and a half I thought it was an hour behind but I'm not um I steamed my dress it's like hanging up in the back uh, literally change into my dress hopefully at like a clean gas station or I can just do it in the back of my car and Molly can just watch <laughs> but it's like a silky satin dress and so I just don't want it to get like really really um, wrinkled on the way to the wedding because it's over an hour away um, I'm not like the biggest person on wrinkles like I don't care if my clothes have some wrinkles but if it looks like a wrinkled mess it's like different to some fast food restaurant I'm sure and pick up some food I just had Chick-fil-a but honestly a Chick-fil-a sounds pretty good to have again and I could get like a little mocha coffee from there because it's not super expensive yeah I think that's what I'm gonna do okay cool I got my Chick-fil-a and I ate all of that now I have my coffee left and I'll be leaving in like an hour-ish I really thought that this vlog was gonna go a little bit different to be honest. I thought that I would have more of my room put together to show you guys because this is kind of like my move-in vlog like back to Ohio State for my last and final year but there are just like random things I just do not have. Um, last year I moved into a house and that house already had like people living in it. So anyway what I was saying was Last year, the house that I moved into, we already had, um, there were already things in the house that we were able to just use. Like, there were random kitchen utensils. We had, like, a TV. We had couches. We had a coffee table. We had all these random things. But this year, it was, like, a fresh slate. So, the five of us that moved in, we all have, like, our own bedrooms. But the house was completely unfurnished, except for, like, curtains, um, which is nice. But that's not like things that we need um so i woke up this morning 
obviously you heard the whole shebang with all my food, but like I was gonna make eggs, but we don't even have like spatulas really. So that was like, can't even really make food at the house because I don't have spatulas. But my mom is coming up on Sunday, so hopefully she can bring some from the house or something. I literally called my grandma this morning and I was like, hey, um, if you have any like extra dish towels or just like random kitchen utensils, like I would love them because that stuff just like gets so expensive and I just don't have the budget for that right now to be very honest, but we're making do. Um, I am so ready to have my room like in order because I feel like this week has just been so hectic, um, even behind the scenes. I can't even put my room together yet and I don't know, I just think it's such a real thing when people are like, if your space is a mess, like your head is a mess and I think that's like so true, but also at the end of the day, like I know that, um, the Lord provides peace and I need to like rest in that and know that like he is the reason and sorry I need to realize and really focus on knowing that the Lord will provide that for me and it doesn't matter what my lo life looks like like either way like he's still gonna be the same because he's God and he never changed he will be the same yesterday today and forever and so yeah honestly me just saying that I'm like all over the place and crazy is definitely in my flesh and just mentally how I feel but I know at the end of the day like the Lord is for me and I know that I'm gonna be okay I'm just just in a transition stage of life right now and that can be really hard especially like oh why is there a sheriff but what is happening there was a sheriff back there there's like so much going on okay there are just like random things that happen in Columbus and I never know like a lot of times they have marathons going on and I always get stuck in that traffic and I'm never able to get like back to my house but hopefully that's not what's going on I don't know what it is they're putting like cones and like they're stopping traffic back there anyway back to the Lord <laughs> I was just trying to say that like the Lord is the giver of all things like for peace and joy and that's where everything that comes from for me and truthfully like my life got hectic this week there's a lot of change I'm in a transition season right now and I was talking to Kayla this morning on the phone and we were just talking about how like change is inevitable and like it's pretty much a constant thing throughout life like you go to get comfortable in a season and then the next thing you know like you're moving or you find a guy you get married you're moving again or you're moving in together or you're planning a wedding or like just random things or even in college like I've moved so many times just being in college like in a dorm out of a dorm in a dorm out of dorm like into a new house into a different house back home for like a couple months or for the summer and then back into a new house like things are changing constantly and the people that you're around is like always changing but God never changes um and I've genuinely neglected to spend like quality time with him this like the past three or four days because making excuses at the end of the day but um I know that he will still be there when I get back and obviously like don't abuse the grace that he gives you but it is so good to know that like even when my life is crazy like his he is not and I know that he is gonna love me the same as he did before and so yeah anyway that was the whole thing but it's just the truth and I want to start talking about more of that on my channel because it is such like a big thing in my life I know that so many people just like don't know the love that's like waiting for them and I don't know I really want to just start being a little bit more vulnerable on my channel because like behind the scenes like your girl is going through it right now um some of you who like know me personally you probably do know uh, but yeah, a lot of things have been changing recently in my life and it's been pretty difficult to say the least. Um, and so to throw like moving into a, like I'm moving and like this whole other situation that's been going on that's been such a change in my life. Like I've, I definitely am having like hard days for sure. Um, and obviously I'm not going to like show you guys all of that. But I just want you to know that, like, people's lives are not perfect online. I don't care what you see. Like, there is drama. There are things changing. Like, 
like lives are changing you know like just everything all the time like nobody's life is perfect i don't care who you are i don't even care if you're kim freaking kardashian okay her life is not perfect either and i don't care what she says just kidding i love watching the kardashians it's so fun but um i just want you guys to know and i want my like youtube channel to like be a space where you guys can like watch my um watch me and watch my life and not feel like bad about how your life is going if that makes sense like I want my I want my YouTube family and I want my YouTube channel to like incorporate like <clears throat> to incorporate love and safe like a safe space like you guys can always reach out to me in the comments or um even on Instagram you could like DM me just because life isn't easy and we're not meant to do life alone so if I'm able to help you guys please let me know but I hope that you guys are doing well I just learned that the reason there was so much traffic earlier when I was coming home from getting Chick-fil-A was because there's a Morgan Wallen concert today and I think tomorrow I think there's two um and I just simply did not know that so that's why there's so much traffic so hopefully I don't get stuck in it when I try to leave um head of the wedding. Wonderful. You want to be in the vlog? Yeah, I want to be in the vlog. Okay, come over here. We made it to the wedding. Here is the outfit. Cutie earrings. Molly wants to be in the vlog. Here she is. Wow. <laughs> you look so cute back there. Okay, we're gonna go to the wedding now. Well, bye bye Okay, guys. Um, honestly, the day got away from me. So, I went to Sydney's wedding last night with my friend Molly that you saw. Um, so yeah, last night was so fun, except I got like the worst stomach ache. I don't know what it was from, but yeah, I wasn't able to dance at this wedding like I usually do. It was like an hour away, but we still got home at like a decent hour, which was nice. Um, but currently I am moving my room back around because I'm still trying to figure out where I like it. I also had to make a trip to Kroger to get some new groceries. As we all know, what happened to the groceries this week? And what else? Oh, I had to go to Target and return a couple more things. I got some light bulbs, so for my desk over here. And I also got a new phone, so my mom is bringing that up tomorrow. But I got a new phone case for that and then also a screen protector. Um, I also have like this random eye cream that I got the other day because I because I really wanted some eye cream and I always feel like my eyes are really dry and I never put like face lotion under there. I feel like it's too thick. So, I'm gonna make some dinner and then finish out some laundry so that I can make my bed because all this stuff needs to go back on the floor where it belongs for now. Um, but I'm really excited to like finally get my room kind of all put together. I also found a chair on Amazon that I think I'm gonna order. It's like a white fuzzy chair and I'm really, really excited about it. It looks so cozy. So that's the update for now. So I'm thinking a really easy dinner tonight because I'm just really tired and I really just want to lay in bed and edit my vlog because I'm really on a roll and I need to get it uploaded tomorrow. So, and I'm going to be really, really busy. And I'm going to be really busy tomorrow, so, yeah. My favorite thing to do is when I go to the grocery store, I always pick up a couple of these, um, like, frozen dinners that are super easy to just, like, heat up. So tonight, I think I'm going to have the fire grill steak. They're pretty good for frozen meals and literally all you have to do is microwave them for four minutes. I think there's another way you can cook them, but if it's already frozen, I want it quick, you know? So you're supposed to vent the film. So I've never had this one before. It has black beans, white rice, bell peppers, corn, cheddar cheese, and cilantro lime pesto. Not a fan of that, but what I like to do, if you know me, I you know me well, I think something just fell in the fridge. Anyway, I was gonna say, if you know me and you know me well, I put yum yum sauce from Bibby Bop on everything. It is so, so good. 
Okay, honestly, I don't know if I'm gonna love this bowl. Usually I love them all, but this one smells really, I just think it's gonna need a lot of yum yum sauce. It looks really gross. It probably looks really, really gross like mush, but honestly it's not that bad. Um, I just don't love pesto that much, and I think it's really strong, but it'll be fine. Good morning, it is the next day. But unfortunately, I am going to end the vlog here. Um, yesterday was really, really busy. I didn't vlog anything. I was with my mom, and we had to go to a bunch of stores, and she helped me kind of get more stuff for my room, which was really, really nice. And so I also brought up my new phone, so I'm about to switch these over. And then I have to take my old phone to AT&T and drop it off. So I'm going to go ahead and do that. But I love you guys so much, and I hope you enjoyed this week's vlog, and I will see you in next week's.